Let's kick it off with Twitter, social media network, and Trump's longest serving press secretary. On a normal day, it's a place where people can share ideas with each other while also getting yelled at by neo-Nazis. But yesterday was not a normal day. Today, Twitter is scrambling to recover from one of the biggest security breaches in internet history after Bitcoin scammers apparently compromised some of the platform's highest profile accounts for hours Wednesday, targeting companies like Uber and Apple and wealthy public figures like Bill Gates, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, even former President Barack Obama and former Vice President Joe Biden. Many of the hijacked accounts posting similar language, inviting users to submit Bitcoin payments to a single account, promising to double their money. Several hundred people quickly responded, sending in tens of thousands of dollars. Twitter revealing the hack was a coordinated social engineering attack by people who successfully targeted some of our employees with access to internal systems and tools. Twitter also confirming they prevented some verified accounts from tweeting Wednesday evening as they investigated the attack. That's right. Barack Obama Joe Biden, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Kim Kardashian. Yo, if you were famous, there was a good chance you were hacked on Twitter yesterday. Now, for some reason, the hackers missed my account, which <laughs> makes no sense because I'm, I'm famous, but whatever. It's probably like a second round or something. I, I don't care. So, Twitter released a statement saying that luckily the president's Twitter account was not hacked. But how would they know? I mean, this is the same guy who tweets about beans, Iran, and the Confederacy in the span of 10 minutes. He pre-hacks himself. The only way you'd know if a hacker got Trump is if the spelling was correct. Guys, Trump spelled coronavirus right. I think he got hacked. So, in response to the hack, Twitter actually disabled tweets from anyone with a verified account. Yeah, blue check mark, couldn't tweet. And I gotta be honest, as someone who has a verified account, because I'm famous, remember? <gasps> It was hard not being able to post for a few hours yesterday. And I had to resort to some drastic measures. At Anna Kendrick, I have a great voice and I would love to be in the next Trolls movie. At Trevor Noah, I told you to leave me alone. Blocked and reported. At Anna Kendrick, thanks so much for responding. Big fan. <laughs> Moving on to some political news. Last week, Kanye West, hip-hop superstar and permanent resident on everyone's prayer list, announced that he was running for president. And then a few days later, one of his advisors said, actually, he's not running for president. But now, maybe he is. Kanye West's unconventional presidential bid is showing signs of life. Oklahoma officials confirming that he will appear on the November general election ballot. Now, the group called Kanye 2020 filed the first federal election forms for West's candidacy. Okay, I'm sorry, this is just crazy. Kanye West is actually running for president? I mean, I guess he reversed his position on whether one man should have all that power. Now, a lot of people are worried that Kanye will be a spoiler for Joe Biden. But I don't know, man, think about it. Who is Kanye West? He's a man who goes on long, unintelligible rants, constantly flip-flops on his positions, brags about the size of his penis. I mean, if anything, Kanye is Trump, but with better beats. And I mean, this all goes to show you how much things can change. Who would have thought 10 years ago that one day you'd be thinking, okay, man, I'm scared that Kanye could become president, but at least Kim Kardashian will be there to bring some seriousness to the White House. 